going, then I'll add you as soon as you come on. So that's so exciting. Good afternoon. Hello, Galaxy A30. What is your name and where are you from? Do, do tell us. We'd love to know. Brilliant, brilliant. I see Business by Design is live, so that's exciting. We are Hello, live. Ginger. Welcome. Fantastic. Oh, it's Heather. Hello, Heather. Welcome, welcome. Kev, you let me know when you're ready. You can just add yourself onto Instagram too. Have you gone live? Just, yes, I've gone live. So just need to um, request to join and so we can be live everywhere in the world. <laughs> so fantastic. I see Ginger's come on, Mama Chef Josie's come on. Ah, oh, there we go. And uh, request to view a new video. View, go to business. Mm. Fantastic and done. You should you should be coming on now, Kip. It's waiting for business to design. Wonderful. Maximizing all the social media platforms. Happy days. There we go. Kim's good to go. So exciting this actually. <laughs> kind of everywhere. I feel like I have to do that. I'm just putting all my sound, my sound on my side so it doesn't mind. feedback anyway. Right, so. Wow, okay. So, here we go. All right, so how many more minutes? We've got two minutes to go. And, um, Colleen, uh, just so that we, before we start, uh, your website. Um, what is your website? How can I get, where's that? www.itsnotaboutme.coza. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Fantastic. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. See, I even put on like a bright pink jacket for I know, women's you life. look stunning. I was like, people might be seeing this outfit again soon. <laughs> but I was like, you know, this is this, this will be my day jacket. So I was like, we can we can work with this. <laughs> you know, I always say, well, it's funny, eh? if you have a black jacket, no one notices. And if you have if you yeah. have something bright, they go, did you wear that the last time? You're like, no. That's me. <laughs> yes, it's you. Just recorded. Thanks, Kelly. Fantastic. Super excited. Do we have 30 seconds? It's I see some people waving. For those of you that are joining, welcome, welcome. Um, we are going to be having an exciting person on our show today. And it's obviously women's month. So this month we are featuring women. So I have my co-host, Kevin. Mr. Britt from Business by Design. So very exciting for all those people that are joining us. Um, it's going to be awesome. Happy days. Are we starting? Is it 12 o'clock? Am I just too excited? You've got excited? one minute. You've got one very minute. Carry on talking nonsense, everybody. <laughs> Fantastic. To those people that are joining us here, welcome. My name is Bjorn. I'm co-hosting today with Kevin Britt uh, from Business by Design. And so if you could just put it at the bottom in the comment section uh, where you are from, that'd be awesome. And then on the webinar, if you just put your name in, and for those people that are wondering how we're talking on both, um, this whole month we are going to be featuring women, women in business and how they're being successful and what are they doing to make a difference in their world. And so it's just really awesome. Put your name in there, where you're from, and um, if you want, what you're drinking. I'm having tea with my name on it, so I know that it's mine. <laughs> so that'd be awesome. Brilliant. 12 o'clock. How exciting. I think everyone's joining or joined. More. All right, yeah, it's gone 12 o'clock. Come a long way. Awesome. Gwen from Cape Town. Happy days. Hey, good afternoon and welcome to Lunchtime Marketing. My name is Kevin Britz and my company is Business by Design, where we help people advance their personal peak performance. Uh, I have my wonderful co-host with me, Björn Selzone. How are you from TMC Marketing? Tell us more about you, Björn. How are you doing? Hey, I'm good. I'm excited. It's Women's Month and, I'm, you know, I always think, you know, it wasn't just... Uh, For women, we, none of us would be here. I mean, take oh, all women. It's just so exciting. Lunchtime marketing with a with a difference this month, and um, it's quite weird. I feel like I have to watch both screens. Kevin, you never told me about this little deal challenge that you have every week. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, very super excited. Yeah. Super excited. and we have a very wonderful, but, exciting guest with us, Bjorn. Tell us who is joining us today. Absolutely. So we've got Colleen McCorsland and she's from an NGO called It's Not About Me. 
And uh, I first came across um, It's Not About Me a couple of months ago. And I started looking into the work that they were doing and I, I was blown away. And some of the stuff that's made it really amazing is that it's a whole bunch of ladies that just went, hey, there's a need, what can we do? And I love that. I love it when people just embrace the challenge. And I'm so excited to be hearing from Colleen about how they started, what they did, and what they are doing. Because that, you know, that for me at the end of the day is the big one. What are they doing to make a difference? So yes, welcome, Colleen. Great Thank to have you. John. Thank you. Thanks for having me, Bjorn and Kevin. Absolutely. It's awesome. such a pleasure to have, brilliant, brilliant. have you with us. Um, Colleen, so uh, I want to kick off to say, you know, I'm looking at the website at the moment and it says to be a social catalyst across society that stirs up higher level of consciousness, living, increasing kindness without expectation of return and births many community movements buried in the hearts of people uh, called across the world to serve those who are suffering or simply need a hand up. So please tell us uh, what you guys do and tell us more about uh, It's Not About Me. Okay, so, um, so Kevin, we, we, there's so many different um, segments to our name that we, you know, it's not about me gets involved in. We have uh, educational workshops, there's mentorship and growth programs that we do, counseling, victim empowerment, I work with that. Um, we really a community conduit as well. And we have, a, we are an anchor body for three children's homes. We have two places of safety for human trafficked and abused women. Uh, we wow. also do prison services as well as feeding the hungry, you know, and we also get involved with immobilizing influences. So there's so many different parts of it's not about me. So, you know, there's something for everybody to fit into. Uh, whatever their passion is, we will find them something to get involved in. So, you know, that's you really um, <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> I'm surrounded by an amazing, amazing team and amazing women and right. amazing volunteers. I could never, ever do this without, um, with the Fantastic. support that I have. It's impossible. Wonderful. You know, it's not about me. Absolutely. Colleen, tell us in terms of it's not about me, how did the organization get started? I think that's a, that, that's a you know, gives context to everything, just kind of how yeah. it all happened. So um, Shireen Hunter, she's a founding member of It's Not About Me, we was having a conversation one day because we were all doing our sort of doing our charity, you know, together, but also not together. Where the need was, we would plug a hole and do that. And she's having a friend with a chat with one of the other directors, Florinda. And Florinda said, we should really start an organization. And then Shireen said, no, it's not about me. It's really not about me. You know, it's just getting the job done. That's what we do, yeah. get the job done. And that's really where it's where it started, you know, and um, Shireen right. thought, okay, well, let's get the women together that are doing everything and let's just, you know, name it and let's go and get so much more done. And that's really how it started. And it just snowballed from there. And so, really, no, go sorry, kids, go. <laughs> it's really, uh, I'm just having a look at um, some of the projects that you guys are involved in, like human trafficking, the, the domestic violence, counseling and therapy, the empowerment and support. Uh, you know, uh, the, the first point that you have is human trafficking. Don't you want to just touch on that and, and really uh, reaffirm the importance of what people really need to know about this? I think, you know, a lot of people know about human trafficking and we kind of sit in the background going, yeah, 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 you know, that's stuff that happens on TV or 60 Minutes. Yeah. Um, but it's actually something that happens in our country. It happens. It's, it's a real thing that happens. Tell us more about that and, and what people should know about it. Yeah, Kevin, you know, it's very real. It happens. We've got girls out of human trafficking. Um, in South Africa, we fit into all this, all segments. We can, um, we can import, we can export, we can keep them in South Africa. So we, South Africa fits in all those segments in human trafficking. Um, some countries you can only import or export or house, or house. we fit in all. Wow. Because we're right smack bang in, you know, all of our, our, our neighboring countries coming yeah. to our country. So um, sex trafficking is a major thing in, in South Africa. Um, it's really happening. We've, I've rescued a few girls out of sex trafficking already. So it really happens. You know, one of the girls um, in, applied for a job in the newspaper. She went a normal receptionist job. She went and applied, got the job, and that was it. She was trafficked from there for 10 years. Um, you know, another girl as well. She applied for a dancing job because she was a dancing. She went to to the arts and ballet school in Bramfontein. Yeah. She applied for a dancing job, um, got the job, but it wasn't dancing that she thought. She was trafficked for 15 years. So this is happening, it, it, it's, wow. it's horrendous, you know. 
Um, I think we need to do lots of more um, community so awareness around human trafficking so people know actually what is going on. Because now the the human trafficker doesn't is not out there waiting to snatch you away. They're in yeah. the children's bedrooms. That's how scary it is. So you know, I think it's very important for short for for parents to actually educate themselves on human trafficking and the dangers of it. You know, because it starts with the grooming. That's where it all starts. Yeah. That starts on the phone. So, yeah. so Kaleen, I think what you've raised there, it's just a bit of context, you know, being a mom, being a wife, being a daughter, a mother, all those things that, you know, that women fulfill, naturally that's going to affect, you know, like having to fulfill different roles. And what I'm hearing about the grooming is that obviously that's starting on social media. Am I, or would I be correct in saying that? No, you so like, you know, agree. So it, are there some tips that you, you know, you know just thinking about, from people that are tuning on Instagram or watching on Facebook, mm. um, are there some tips that you can actually give moms just to be, in terms of being vigilant and wise with their children about social media? Because I mean, you know, Kevin and I, for the last couple of months, we've spoke about the value that the online platforms have. Um, but yet at the same time, I think it's important that we highlight this, mm. of, you know, just being the woman that has to have so many different roles some tips that you can maybe give for moms that are watching or going to be listening to this um, on Eber's radio, just, you know, yeah. after this, just a bit of, a bit of just food for thought. Sure. You know, I think you need to be, you need to be active in your child's life. You need to know what they're looking at on their phone. You know, lots right. of it's a new parenting, the, the way parenting is nowadays, give them space, give them freedom. It shouldn't be like that because that is exactly the danger. You know, you don't know what apps your child's got on the phone. There's apps that are actually linked to pedophilia and all sorts of other things that are on your phone. So the, the, the dark web is real. It is happening. Um, we do a lot of school talks as well with a guy that he, he's actually a, a, an investigator on the dark web. And he comes and educates schools about this and tells them what the apps are what not to do, you know, educates the parents. So I think it would be great if parents could get um, the schools involved and have workshops teaching them about the dark web and the dangers of it. You know, I think it's, it's fine to check your child's phone from time to time. You know, it's important. You have to. Absolutely. You know, lots of parents say, you know, give your child the freedom and trust, but they start, it all starts with innocence. You know, the boy giving you compliments. Meantime, the guy on the other side is not a boy. You know, he's a pedophile, or he's a groomer, or he's a recruiter. Right. You know, so I think you just parents really need to educate themselves on this. There's a lot of information available on it. So just in aim of uh, just telling everyone who is joining us online today, you know, this month is. Uh, um, the Women's Month for in August, and we really want to celebrate women who are making a difference uh, in the in the in the world, not only in their own communities, but really touching the hearts of uh, people. Um, so it would be great if you if you catch up with Colleen. It's on the. It's not about me. today. It's gonna. There's a lot of uh, information there about what you guys do, Colleen. So in terms of. Um, giving some people some inspiration. Uh, you know, I see you're, you're one of the directors of this wonderful organization. Tell us um, what sort of was the driver for you and, and what sort of stood out for you to want to be able to take part in something, uh, something like this and being part of a company like this. Um, let's start there. Let's start with that question. Sure. You know, Kevin, um, there's so many aspects as to why I started what I did, you know, do what I do. Um, I started working with, um, with the police because I'm a qualified counselor. And I just saw that there's such a huge need, you know, find the police can help, but from there, what? What happens from there? You just leave right. the victim, you know, the rape victim. And I thought, yeah. no, there's got to be more that I can do. Um, that woman is so broken. That child, that man are so broken. We can't leave them like that. So it broke my heart not to be able to do something. And then I said, no, I'm going to get involved. And then I got involved with the victim empowerment. So now if there's a rape or a whatever, uh, there is, they'll call me out and then I can be with that victim, you know, help them through it, help them through the process of going to a hospital. Because, um, for example, uh, a lot of hospitals will take a rape victim in at no charge, like the Mill Park Hospital, they have a, a rape unit. And lots of people don't know this. You go there, you take the lady there or the child or whoever there for free, they will treat her, they'll give her ARVs, she'll be, she'll be treated with dignity. 
because sadly at the police stations that doesn't happen. Often you have a man opening a docket, you know, they're insensitive to it, it's just another case to them, um, and vital evidence gets lost. So it's, it's things like this that I said, no, I've got to, got to connect with someone that can make a difference, and I connected with the right people, you know. Sadly, um, in our country, it is not what you know, it is also a lot about who you know. So that's really what I, how I started. I said, no, I've, I've got so much to give. Let me give back. You know, if I can make a difference in one person's life, then so be it. And yeah, and it's just been amazing. Other women have come, joined us with the same heart, the same attitude. And, you know, I can do so much, but together we can get so much more done. Cool. Colleen, you mentioned um, earlier in, in terms of you, a team that you work with. You said you can't do it alone. Um, how do people get involved if they want to, you know, I always just think, you know, a lot of people who will watch this and I kind of go, oh, that resonates with me, their mom, their daughter, whatever the case might be. How would people actually get involved practically, you know, because, you know, there's the whole thing about social distancing, but yet this, the need still exists. How yeah. would there how would be a, a, a context of, of someone could actually get involved? Okay, so, you know, during um, this COVID-19 lockdown, you know, suicide rates have increased by 200%. That is, that is wow. scary. So, you know, if there's a counsellor that, that has time, that I can pass people on to them saying, he has ladies to counsel. They're suffering from depression. They are suicidal. You know, there's so many yeah. things. Sometimes just be a friend. Be a friend to that lady that is being abused and doesn't want to speak about it. Just, you know, I say, when you see something, you have to do something. When you hear something, you have to do something about it. Yeah. You shouldn't keep quiet, you know, even if it's telling somebody else about the abuse, that that person right. can get help. You know, just just be that ear and that eye that sees and hears, okay. the others don't. Awesome. Thanks, so, I, I mean, it's, it's such a big, uh, and some people might regard it as a really heavy topic, but I'm so glad that we, you know, bringing light to this. Um, Colleen, as a woman that's in the world today and, and, and dealing with uh, the, the alarming circumstances that you do, what, what, what motivates you on a day-to-day -day basis kind of going, okay, well, I need to get up, I need to do this. Uh, how, how, do, how do women in the world today find it in themselves to, I mean, naturally, you would want someone to have to go th through counseling. You'd want to be able to have uh, someone to talk to. But mm. from someone who sort of drives us and, and has to deal with us on such a, a regular basis, uh, how do you do it as a woman in the world, knowing the, the atrocities that, that are occurring? How do you do it? What do you do? How do you motivate yourself? So, Kevin, that's exactly what it is. It's not about me. You know, every morning when I wake up, I think, how can I be a blessing to someone else today? Because, you know, we are blessed to be a blessing. And that's really what, when I get up in the morning, that's like, who can I make a difference? Whose life can I make a difference in today? And I live today for today. You know, I don't know in the next hour what call I could get. So I've always, yeah. that's on the top of my mind. You know, it's really not about me. It's about making a difference in a child's life, in another woman's life, um, in another man's life. You know, in, in an animal's life, because we, we get involved with animal uh -huh. rescue as well. So, so you know, it doesn't... It's just, don't make it about yourself. You know, there's always someone that is in a worse off position than you. And um, I find that while you're doing the work and volunteering and, help, volunteering and helping someone else, your issues become so minimal, you know, that they're, right. they're not as, as bad. So it's also a healing process for a woman that's been through, been through abuse for, let's say, gender-based violence. She's to experience that. And now she's connected with another woman going through it. In her helping that woman, she finds healing as well. Got it. Mm. Colleen, you, you mentioned something that was really cool, because I know a lot of people, you know, I've often heard people say they love animals more than they love humans. And um, <laughs> tell me a bit more about that. Like, how, how do people get involved with these if if animals? And, and, you know, I think there's an element of, do you work with the SPCA? Or, you know, just share a bit of light on that, if that's all right. Yes, yeah, so we, we collaborate with other with other shelters, animal shelters, you know, they tell us yeah. what their needs are. That's really what we do as well, you know, put bring um, NGOs, NPOs together. So together we can do so much more because I've got a, um, a influence that they don't have and vice versa. So I think when we stop making it about ourselves and making it about collectively, what can we do to help each other? We can get so much right. more done. You know, that's really, and, and yeah. So we do help with the, and we've got people, the volunteers, and so no, rather let me deal with the dogs, 
and I don't want to deal with the people. And that's great. <laughs> I mean, like, I need it. You know, sometimes they have to foster a dog, an abandoned dog for a night or two, and that they're happy to do it. So we have those people as well. That's incredible. Uh, so in terms of Ben, uh, you know, this is a question around marketing and, uh, you know, some people might go, okay, cool. This is a strange uh, sort of entry point for marketing, but essentially I, I know that one of the things we are going to be talking about events and, you know, just the name itself, it's not about me is maybe, you know, uh, and that's a question I raise to everyone that's listening out there is maybe, uh, I mean, even if I look at the lunchtime series that I run um, and we do this on lunchtime marketing, I do it lunchtime leadership. There's a few of these that I do. Um, a lot of what sits in the back of my head is, well, it's not about me. It's like, how do we help people? Because so many people yeah. need help right now. So Bjorn, in terms of um, marketing, maybe it's a case of saying, maybe put out a, a free webinar and, uh, and get people connected because, you know, it just, a, just a sense of going, maybe people need to have a conversation about something in the environment, something that, that, that they concerned about in their own brand and maybe have a, I know Facebook has got that Facebook group things now, you know, create a bit of a group where you have a group discussion and, but taking that approach that it's not about me because it really uh, gets people uh, paying attention to, ah, this is maybe, maybe that's the point, you know, maybe it's not just about you and you, you, you kind of have to start thinking, further than your brand and and what it is what value you're actually adding to people's lives 100 percent, kev you know one of the biggest things that i i we've shared about this before both online and offline was people are, are looking in terms of in light of COVID 19 in the light of lockdown what are you adding over and above that just adds value to your business mm -hmm. and one of the things i always say to people is you know you can really start adding value to your business by showing that you're making a difference in someone else's life. And that's what it's not about me is doing. You know, I've seen so many businesses going, Hey, you know what? We don't have lots of millions, but we can at least uh, sponsor hundred masks. I've seen people go, Hey, we can sponsor sanitizer. Hey, we can do food parcels. And that's incredible. I mean, that, that's really, and I think Colleen has the same sentiment is when business and, and a community come together, Man, that's powerful because mm. not only are you making highlighting the business by default of helping other people, you get the recognition. So you really can start, you know, businesses can really start um, expanding their thinking. And I mean, that's why in a very big corporate, as we all know, that's why there's the social responsibility fund and, 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 and a CSI fund. That's all called different things, depending on the organization, whether you're local, whether you're international. But that's really a, a big difference. Colleen, would you agree with me? Absolutely. Absolutely, Beyond. You know, I'm part of BNI. Um, and I tell you, they, they are all business people that have got involved and it has made a massive difference. You know, it's about, it's about connecting with the right people as well. Because through that, I can also pass business on to them. It doesn't mean that I'm from, a, in, uh, from an NGO that I can't pass on business. So I know business owners and I know business people. So it's really, um, we help each other, you know. It's really not about me and it's not about them. It's what can we do together? How can I help you in your business? And how can yeah. you help me help someone else? Absolutely. And also to add to that, I, I think a lot of small business owners, uh, especially if you if you run your own business and you're a single person running in a business, I think people have that idea that, that um, oh no, that kind of stuff that, you know, that's what uh, big international companies do or big large corporates do. Um, and that's not necessarily the case from a, from a, uh, from a marketing perspective and from connecting with people. Um, one of the, I just need to find the right company. So if every, anybody out there knows one, um, I have a thing about planting trees. I've always had that mm -hmm. thing. And I've, that's kind of the initiative that I want to get stuck in. Um, and although I'm a small business owner, uh, it's still it's still my initiative that's sort of running in the background. So um, you can use it as part of your marketing and part you know part of saying, well, this is what I'm standing for and this is what I stand for and this is why I help um, as a as a way to give back. But I know you guys are also having a tell us a little bit about the events that's are, that that are that are coming up, guys. I know that you guys are, are launching something. Okay, so um, tonight we're having an event with Picha Kucha. Uh, it's an international event um, at seven o'clock. We're giving away two tickets. Um, I think, you know, it's important for ladies to invest in themselves. One hour of supporting another lady and, you know, also yeah. learning from each other. 
I think it's important. Yeah. We often neglect ourselves because we're so busy with family, with everyone else. I think it's important to take time out. So that, that tonight's event is going to be amazing. Um, you know, I can't, but together we can, all can. So let's uh, book online. You can go to Quicket. You can um, book your ticket there. It is only 40 rand. I mean, what is 40 rand? We waste that on chocolate. So, <laughs> I love it. For ourselves and join in tonight at 7 o'clock um, and really, you know, come in and have fun with the girls. And then and so on much. Saturday night. Yes. Sorry, Bjorn, did you want to say something? No. And I was going to say, where do people book? So you're saying it's only for your own, just book. On Quicket. They can go check and it out on Quicket. Okay, cool. On Quicket, and it is tonight at 7 o'clock. Cool. And 40 bucks. I mean, that's nothing, really. That is absolutely nothing. So, yeah. And then on Saturday night, we're having at the BNI Johannesburg Central um, event. This is a fundraiser for It's Not About Me. It's a band that's playing for us, Bernhard Band. And they're going to be entertaining us from seven o'clock. And that is only 50 bucks. And we're raising funds to feed and clothe children. Um, and the proceeds go to the three children's homes. So, you know, that's, that's what it's about. So together we can do so much more. Um, and 50 rand is nothing, you know. If you can't attend the event, buy someone else a ticket. Bless someone else. You know, because you're ultimately going to be blessing a child and making a difference in a child's life. So that you can also book through quicker. Cool. Colleen, t tell us in terms of um, I just kind of, you know, uh, this, I, I love it. I love the events and, and I love what people are doing. And if people wanted to actually get involved, um, you know, is it not about me? Do you just work in Johannesburg or you're just working in South Africa? You know, kind of, you know, how would people identify, oh, that's a need that they can either help or the other parties to go, well, they might not have you know, have the cash, but they could physically do something. Mm. Would, okay, you know, so what would be the kind of the process around that? There's a lot of ways that they can get involved with It's Not About Me. They can host workshops, you know, at home. Invite their, their friends and we'll come and do the talks and to teach them about gender-based violence and the rights. What are your rights as a woman? And um, what is gender-based violence? What is domestic abuse? Because there's all sorts, there's seven types of domestic abuse. So it's really creating awareness um, then, so they can host a workshop in their own home. It doesn't nothing fancy, you know. That's how it starts. That's really how it started. How we started from um, Shireen Hunter's house had a meeting and said, "Well, let's go, girls," and to having a huge event at the Maslow Hotel for 500 guests. I mean, that is amazing. That's, amazing. that's how that's how this grew. So it's really just to start off small, you know. Start with what you have and what you can do. Um, start off by having creating awareness. And then we can volunteer your time, you know, come and help us with, with our children's homes, just whatever you're good at, you know, if, if it's just loving a baby, becoming a foster parent for a child, because often I have abandoned babies and new foster parents, and we don't have, um, you know, get your child's school involved to do those, to the community hours. All schools have to do community hours, get them involved to collect a ton of food. Um, a blanket. You know, we've got St. Stivians today. We actually collected um, 60 blankets from St. Stivians. Wow, that's amazing. That's what they do. You know, just get your school involved. You're going to get your community hours. And then, you know, you know if it's financially, that is always welcome because we have to, we have to pay the bill, feed the kids. Yeah. Um, so, you know, there's so many different ways to get involved. You can contact me, connect with me, see where your passion is, and I can tell you we will get you involved. So don't say, Kali, I want to get involved because I'm going to put you to it. Fantastic. I think one of the things that's always nice to hear are success stories. Could you share with us some things that have been really some great highlights to actually get people mobilized? Because, you know, the understand is the need, but what actually often gets people motivated is what, what, what has come from the good that you've done. Could you share some of those oh. with us? There's so many stories. I can write a book. Um, you know, <laughs> our babies that have been abandoned, um, they went to foster moms that were started as volunteers. You know, like the one foster mom, she's a foster mom now. She's the director of It's Not About Me. Um, the secretary of It's Not About Me, she's also a foster mom now. Uh, there's wow. another, the lady that also just started as a volunteer saying, uh, you know, I've got some free hours. How can I get involved? I can go pick up the bag of clothes that's been donated. And now she's got three of our foster children. So it's, it's been amazing, you know. We've got people that have said, how can I get involved with the children's homes? 
um, Heather that is listening now, she says, I'm going to bake a cake for every child in my children's home for their birthdays. So it's a little oh, thing. Oh, that's you know? amazing. And even... We even get involved with old age homes, you know, knit scarves for the old people. There's often the old people are forgotten. You know, just go and visit and have a cup of tea with the old lady in your area. You know, every little bit helps. You make a huge difference. Just do something. Don't do nothing. Wow, that's fantastic. Yeah, I, I just want to add that, guys, you know, I'm sitting, as I'm listening, um, it's so important. And I think that... Um, Finding ourselves in the current situation in the world that we do, um, a lot of what COVID has brought to our attention is self-awareness, I think. And, yes. you know, from a, from a coaching perspective, from, from, you know, helping people do this on a day-to-day -day basis, the, uh, it, it's almost coming up as a theme, you know, if something has to change, let it start with me. Let, let, let me start paying attention to, to how I can show up in the world and how I do what I do on a daily basis and how do I do that more effectively. And when I do connect with people, um, what can I do for them? Uh, you know, and you know, from my side, from a marketing, and that's what I, I'd like to share for, from a marketing perspective. And Bjorn, I'm sure you're gonna, you agree, is it's not the actual thing you're selling, but what, what I as the, the person or this product can do for someone. You know, 100%. consider consider that rather. And the only way you're really going to con uh, you know, figure that out is if you connect with people. But if you if you yeah. look at uh, this uh, amazing initiative that it's not about me um, and what they're doing and how to do it, because uh, it's a wonderful place to start. It's a wonderful place to connect. It's a wonderful place to to really get your 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 claws and your hands and your fingers sort of yeah, involved at doing something for more than just about you and uh, your your own product. Um, is there something are we giving away tickets or, or, or is this going to happen later today or tomorrow when is oh. this happening Bjorn? please please share that with us absolutely um, so what we're going to do Colleen is I'm going to ask you a number and I'm going to ask you between one and Colleen are you there sorry you broke up there one and between one and 20. Okay, so seven. <laughs> number seven, lucky number seven. Who is that? Who is lucky number seven? Is it Ilona? Yes. Yeah, Congratulations, Ilona. Ilona. <laughs> Fantastic. All right, Colleen, can I ask you to pick another number? Between... Um, I'd say 13. Okay, and that is going to be... That's going to be Christavet. Congratulations. Christavet. So, yay. Nice one. Well done, guys. Um, you basically just won yourself some tickets to the events. And uh, um, I know that if you check in the chat box, the all the information about that is going to be in the chat box. Where to get hold <laughs> of... Uh, Colleen, I know that some of the people are saying they're so, they're so excited for, for tuning in today. They are learning so much. Uh, and someone did ask where they can get hold of Colleen. So, guys, just check that out. It is in the chat box. Yep. Ben, um, uh, is there anything else we're going to share? I know that we've got an exciting month coming up for mm. lunchtime marketing. In Absolutely. Of Women's Month. Yes, Kevin. I'm, I really, this month is really amazing. And we just thought we'd, we know we'd start... Um, with a very much a different twist, you know, one of the things that I'm really passionate about, and I've said this before, is I love doing marketing PR for NGOs just because of the difference that they make, but more so to really inspire businesses to actually get involved in, and make a difference in their local community. And next week, um, we've got another powerful speaker who's going to be on. Her name is Carol Ofori. She's from Radio 2000. Uh, Colleen, you, you know, you've met her. You guys have been on, a, on you've been on, on Carol's show before, um, talking about, about babies. So Carol's going to be coming on just talking about that part of being a mom in the media and how do you manage that and balance that with your private life? You know, I think a lot of, I always think, you know, as parents, that some of the You've got to juggle different roles. And then after that, Kevin, the following uh, week, we're going to be having Margaret Hirsch. And uh, she's really yeah. going to be sharing her story about what she's done in business and you know what she's doing. And, and you know that Margaret is, is a senior 
And you know that she decided like last year, oh, why not? Let's just start my MBA. She's like, you know, I'm going to keep going. I was like, you go, Margaret. I mean, it's amazing, right? I remember I was, I'm in my 30s and I was like, should I start my MBA? Is it too late? You know, when I heard Margaret at 70, I was like, okay, never mind. Just yeah. keep going. I was like, oh, I don't even think, I, you know, if I think of Margaret, I don't mean like she's hit half of her life yet. She's that powerful. Exactly, and then, yeah. To the end of our month, we're going to be having Ingrid, who is, as I as I know it, Kev, do you want to tell us more about Ingrid? Um, yeah, Ingrid is, uh, she's the owner of ebizradio.com, uh, and uh, this goes out on ebizradio.com every week. So tune in live, guys, every day at lunchtime. Uh, there's the lunchtime series goes out, and every Thursday, uh, lunchtime marketing uh, goes out at 12 o'clock. So she's the, the owner of ebiz Radio. Uh, really successful in her own right and uh, making waves uh, on the radio station. So that's also going to be an interesting conversation. Um, and Bjorn, anything else happening in your life? I know that you're doing some MC work this weekend. Yeah. So before I tell you about that, Kev, I just want to talk about next week. Just for yes. our viewers to, to note, because Carol runs a show on Radio 2000 every day, Monday to Friday, 9 to 12, Next week, the show is at one o'clock. So we're making an exception next week just because, you know, she, she mentioned that she can't, you know, do an interview from the studio because the social distancing, once they're done, they're going to leave. So just that's just important that next week it's one o'clock. Um, but do tune in. And all of that will be on Cricket this afternoon and we'll be going live, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But yeah, Kev, in terms of uh, stuff that I'm doing, I am doing some of the MC work. As, as you know, I'm, I'm mixing the event tonight with, so I'm very excited to be working with Colleen and then um, getting involved in the MC work on Saturday. So that's going to be exciting. And um, other than that, just really working hard, you know. I'm, Colleen knows I've been involved with BNI as well. And um, yeah, just making, what's exciting about that is just the, the value and the difference we can make um, in businesses in the different areas. So mm -hmm. we're actually starting up a chapter um, in Mauro's Art, and that's what we're working on. That's number one. And the other one we're also working on is in um, the South, in the Bracken Down Mayors Doll area. So Fantastic. that's just getting Congratulations. together. Thank you. And yourself, Kev, what's happening in your world? Um, all busy, all busy, always uh, creating new uh, product as well. Uh, one of the things that I am working on is uh, a new uh, online workshop, which is Team Cohesion Motivation. Um, if you want to find out more about that, it's a wonderful remote workshop that uh, helps people get through this time, um, but keeps, uh, you know, keeps people sort of connected um, and keeps them motivated. Um, but yeah, and that's all on businessbydesign.ca.ca. Um, and that's really all we have time for today's uh, lunchtime marketing. Colleen, thank you so much for joining us. Um, and thank you for making the time to tell us more about the amazing work that you do. Thanks to you and Bjorn. Thanks to men like you, you know, you, you really support us women. And um, really, you know, I'm not into women's live or anything like that. We cannot do everything. We really can't without amazing men that support us. So thank you guys thank you for me. you're very kind thank you guys if you want to know more about uh, it's not about me it's not about me.co.za it's a non-profit organization that helps uh, so many people with so many options go and check it out uh, this will all the information that we are sharing today will also be in the description box below uh, on the youtube video that um, if you go and check out youtube videos um, and guys thank you for today brilliant thanks guys have a great week further see you next week Thanks, everyone. Cheers, everyone. Have a wonderful day. Cheers. Cheers. Bye. Bye.